Hello everyone, it's me, Kit Kat Coda, and in my, it, it's been a while since we've seen this, this handsome face, huh? <laughs> it's been a long, long time since we've seen this guy, me, in Fallout 4. Oh man, it is, it's been some time, I'm at my, my vault base. It, a lot has changed, a lot, a lot has changed in my vault and like, in my world in general. Um... Here's the entrance to the vault. I, I don't know if I ever showed this off. I probably did, but like, not really important. Vault droid. Uh, we're not departing right now, vault droid. Thank you, though. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, sir. Uh, but I don't think she exists in one of my last videos. She's like the vault protector droid, and I just have this power armor here in case the vault droid decides to get in it. And uh, entering through the vault, uh, I want to show you one thing here real quick. Is a guy here? Yes, Anybody he is. Need help with anything? One of our security officers. He's got vault tech armor. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful patrolman sunglasses. Vault. <clears throat> Minor throat irritation. Sorry. <laughs> uh, vault tech helmet. Just full vault tech armor. I think he even has a vault tech painted uh, weapon, too. Sure it's great. And, uh, actually into the vault. Um, nothing has changed in this area, I, mean, I don't think. I mean, we got this person working as defense here, and this area is just not really interesting. But, going through here, you'll see we have a nice carpet, nice vault tech carpet. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, last time I don't think I had any Creation Club items. Last time I made a video, none. I don't even remember if the Creation Club existed. I don't think it did. Well, well, the Creation Club exists now. <laughs> uh, here's Z2-3D, my, like, R2-D2-C3PO type parody. My farm is in here, I mean, I don't, I think it's the same last video, maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, it's just a farm, not, not a whole lot interesting. Beautiful, beautiful pot of plants. Thanks the <clears throat> man, my throat's irritated. I apologize, I don't know why. But, beautiful potted plants. Thanks the, I... Very thankful that the person created that. All these slot machines to uh, up the happiness. To see you, Hello, people. Uh, weight huh? benches and stuff. Bunk beds. Bunk beds. These things have saved my butt. They just allow me to have more space in the vault, and it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. And uh, also got some uh, Adam Cats painted armor, Brotherhood painted armor. Stormtrooper type armor. Look at that. <laughs> it's funny. And then Darth Vader. And uh, this is Jason Voorhees type kind of thing. I mean, it looks pretty accurate. And I have my weapons here. Pretty sure they're the same. This is base game Fallout. It has a crippling effect. It's not the uh, one from Far Harbor that, that I just renamed or anything. I found this. Which is amazing. This, this is just a chest that I have like... This is, I thought this might be better than my current chest piece. This one, thought it might be better. It has better defense, slightly better. But it weighs a bit more. And I'm like, I'm just trying to find out. And experiment with new armors. And here's like all my weapon storages. My Brotherhood ones. My uh, Institute ones. Railroad ones. Minuteman ones. And then here's like pop culture stuff. This is not the actual BFG. I, I wish it was. Wish it was. And, uh, these are, like, some Star Wars weapons. Death awaits you all. And Droxus's revolver. Paladins. Doom Flare's double barrel shotgun. More Star Wars stuff. Get that reference. <laughs> Jason Voorhees machete. It's furious, which is perfect. And, uh, Ruckus to the rescue. More Paladin stuff. And, uh, here's just a bunch of random melee weapons and a bunch of normal guns. Silence, I kill you. A lot of great things. I have a lot of great weapons. My horsepower armor. All, all these power armors. This did not exist last video. I guarantee you that. This area. There's also another power armor frame right here-ish. But I removed it and put this in. Just because, I mean, look at that. That's nice. Also, carpets. Love the carpets. Here's where I have stuff that I'm going to eventually put down for decorations. 
I'm not gonna turn the radio on. Uh, some heads. Poster. Look at this poster. It's beautiful. And, uh, over here, we have the horse thing that I've had for ages. I, I showed that off in the last video, right? And new bobblehead stand. Look at this. It's beautiful. Thank you, person who created this. I can't remember your name right now, but, but thank you so much. It's, it's amazing. I love it. And just, like, the potted plants, too. I love it. Here's, uh, these, this shelf that I've had for ages. A bunch of miscellaneous in here. Adam Gatt's power armor. Don't know what I'm gonna put on that, uh, mannequin yet. But, yeah, this is my, uh, this is my vault here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I have an idea for a next video, which I might make after this one. Oh, um, little shelf here area. I love this. This is just so cute. And then I got armor, power armor, and this is all my special armor that gives pluses to stats. So that way if I want, I can easily access uh, higher charisma, get more settlers. And then, um, nothing interesting over there. Uh, a lot of settlers watching TV right now. My, uh, holotape game thing, I need to find the rest of them and put them in here. I have one on me. I believe it's Zeta Invaders, right? Uh, yeah, I have Zeta Invaders, and I think I have one other one that I somehow glitched and got two of. Right? Pitfall, yeah. Yes. Zeta Invaders of Pitfall. Those are now in there. Dog meat. He's beautiful. He's gray. I love it. Uh, my bar. Look at that. I love, I love that I put the knee on there. It's so good looking. Uh, but yeah, pool table here as well. And then my shop area. Look at the shop. Look at this. This is amazing. I love it. I had a vault -Tec laser rifle here, but I accidentally jumped on top like this, not thinking, and it vanished. Don't know how. It just did. And like, just, I love this. I love what I've done with this all. It's amazing. And, um, power armor here, farms right there, yeah. Um, might as well show you upstairs. Uh, there was, behind this wall, there was a whole lot of room, but I decided to get rid of it to conserve more space. More bunk beds. It's amazing. There's, like, all my, uh, the unstoppables and stuff, but, but also including Kellogg for some reason. Don't know why, but, I mean, he's kind of special. He's kind of important. Then I have, <laughs> I forgot about these. All my, uh, silver shroud weapons. All my fancy silver shroud weapons. I forgot about that. That's nice. Uh, then I have more important stuff over here. Rognak's axe. Uh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> All sorts of, like, unique items and stuff. And disciples. Those, you know, the disciples' helmets. Amazing. Fade visors. Fade trench coat. All this fancy stuff. I love the fancy suits. Feathered dress, those nice flight helmet, that's kinda nice. Gage's armor. Don't know why the um the texturing is so small. Alright, I think this might be my only video today. Though, because I do have thunderstorms coming. Gas mask, that's nice. Uh anything else? Uh D V varsity tech uniform, that's nice. Uh, Desdemona's Fatigues, they were just called Fatigues for some reason, even though they're unique. Called, renamed them that, because it's Desdemona's. And then, uh, the Overseer's Office, also known as my office, have Piper here working defense, and, like, my assistant, kinda. Got a little stove here, Piper's trench coat, put that mask on for no reason. Nice formal outfit wear, that's nice. Look at this Manta Man, little, uh, buoys. Great. Also, my, uh, comic storing area. All my, like, magazines and comics. Map of Boston. And then the fridge. Man, these fridges. I, I'm so sorry I forget the name of the person who created the Creation Club thing. But, oh my gosh, this, these fridges. These fridges. They're amazing. I love them. And, uh... Anything else in here? Typewriter, my 
Piper, my assistant. And I had, uh, over that way, I had my surgery and haircut area. Now I moved them over here now. It's a little easier. And this thing may have caused me some glitches. I don't know. I don't know, really. Like, sometimes I just see them most of the time just sitting around, not doing much. My vault dwellers. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Um... Should I shut off the bat cave? I don't think I've changed anything in the bat cave. Uh, this area, I'm... Nothing's changed here. Teddy bear there. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I don't think I changed anything in the bat cave. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I did another thing to help conserve on space. I forgot about that. Move this up. And store these three. I don't think I've changed anything in the bat cave here. Nice bunch of, like, trophies and stuff. Batmobile over there. Little generator. Bear statue. And bat computer. It's great. But that's about it for the bat cave, I think. It's about basically the same. I'm pretty sure I changed absolutely nothing. Uh. And this little, I love this little junk area that I made, this little storage area, I love it. It just it feels so, like, lived in and full. That, uh, my horse working station again, making a little robot horse. Power armor workstations. Yeah, all my weapons. I think that's about it for the vault. But the bunk beds, they have saved me when it comes to storage. Saved me. Um... No, I'll show off, uh, Sanctuary. I'm not doing any quests right now. Um, yeah, I'll show off Sanctuary, because why not? Apologies for, uh, probably long loading time. <laughs> Oy, because the loading times are quite long sometimes, especially if you've got all the DLC and Creation Clubs. <laughs> Don't have all the Creation Club, I have a, a couple Creation Clubs. <laughs> Oh, another thing I didn't show off while we were at the vault. It's not at the vault, but it's on me. Uh, Pip-Boy skin, I'm using the Overseer's one. I mean, I think it's the nicest looking one in out of all the Pip-Boy skins. It's just got that nice uh, polished wood. Mm, I love it. I'll show it off once we get to Sanctuary. It's so good looking. Do-do-do. Rover we're in here. Brains are a very unique robot. Yeah, but, uh, also, in Sanctuary, a lot, uh, not a whole lot has changed. Not a whole lot at all. Uh, got this nice rug for John to sit on. I? Can Mom see me? Uh, weird topic of conversation right there, Sean, for the people. <laughs> uh, got the vault Tech rep work on a general trader. Then we got all these other traders and stuff, so it's great. Doghouse over there for dog meat. I decided to send him here. Did I show off Death Claw Jim? I think I did, but I could be wrong. Got two cats in Death Claw Jim. All the pommel horses. A couple of decorations here and there. TV, weight benches, fan. Look. This is connected to nothing. Why is this here? Why is that there? I don't know why that is there. Oh, the weight benches. Ghosts are using them right now. Uh, this originally was my first base ever at Sanctuary here. Tried to turn it into a power armor like garage, but that that didn't work out. And turrets up here. Yeah, fireworks. I'm still working on figuring out how to how to use those. Yeah. Uh, my railroad power armor, that's nice. My raider power armor. And this was completely different a long time ago. It was made out of metal. Now it's made out of wood. A lot better looking. And we got, like, look how decorated this is. It's nice. Uh, let's get in here. <laughs> potted plants. Again, thank you, person who created the Creation Club item for these potted plants. Thank you so much. I love them. They generate happiness. It's amazing. Also got, uh, nice little decorations of armor, uh, weapons here, even. Power armor of Braxo edition. My swamp monster camo armor. My 
sea monster type one and my desert wanderer type thingies. I don't know. Um, military, uh, overboss, and uh, Vim Refresh. Beautiful. They're like the special ones that I've gotten decorated all for. And up at the top, we got uh, the patriotic one. Merka. Heck yeah. Freaking awesome. Anything else change? Uh, my little surgery center over here. I might make another one here. I don't know. Uh, in here, though, my little barbershop area could definitely use some work. Definitely. Definitely use some work. But my little barbershop area got neon signs. Um, you can't really see it because it's day. And my shop area, as you saw earlier. Inside that house, it's basically the same. Uh, this tower, I increased its height by one thing, by one wall and one floor, just because it felt too cubicle, like wanted to be more tower. Couldn't make it go any higher because build limit or something. Not build limit of items, no, no, no. I mean, look at how much I have in a place so much. Got bunk beds in here, well, a couple bunk beds, I think. Not a whole lot of plants. Uh, little, um, tray caravan. And then my arcade section. You hear about I love this. Shoosh! I'm showing the people my arcade. Beautiful. And I got a nice token dispenser, even though it's kind of useless. Kind of. This needs to go. I, I can't have that here. I need a happier, a happiness spotted plant. Ah, I'm lagging. No. No lag, please. Walkers, yeah, that also comes with this, all these paintings. Let's get this potted plant. Any other potted plants I don't want in here? Nope. We can just place more. Nah, all sorts of niceness. But here is what those tokens are used for only. I should really rework it. But all the arcades, all of them, so many. It's great, trying to up the happiness to get that final trophy for Platinum. Yeah, it's aggravating. And, uh, also Sanctuary, I've been, like, walling it off, kind of. Like, protection, all these walls. Goes around. Fairly far, you kind of saw some of it. And I have this, because sometimes the settlers will glitch through the floor. And I didn't use the full concrete, solid ones, because it takes more materials. Yeah, I don't know, really know why I didn't do that, actually. All the walls. Over there's my water purifier. Basically, Sanctuary is kind of the same. Mm. But with a couple differences, like these rugs. Love these really rugs. Love them so much. And we got left on this episode in about nine more minutes, I think. Roughly. Or not this episode, this more world showcase, kind of. Now... I'm gonna walk to the next area, because it's right next door. Uh, yes. Wish I brought my poor horsepower armor. That thing, it makes me go as fast as the Flash. I should make a video dedicated to the horsepower armor or something. Because it's crazy. It's like, so fast. Uh, oh, I'll show. Uh, I'll show? Uh, I have Ash's Cannon from Paladins. I would have used the explosive one, but I like to be ammo conservative. So that way I can pick them up occasionally. And we, we are lagging. Quite immensely. Also, my 10mm pistol, I renamed it Tingo's, like Tingo's... Skrra, pa, pa, pa. Please, someone give me a better name for this thing. Better name for this thing, please. Also, let the bodies hit the floor. Like Zin. Good old Zin. I love Zin. I haven't played him in a while. Later today I might play him. And, uh, here at Abernathy Farm, we have our, like, Sky Bar. And Abernathy Farm in, in there is nothing. Really. And, uh, have any other weapons I need to show off? No. Like, but please, again, rename this thing. Please, give me name suggestions. 
this place did not exist last couple of videos. Did not. I mean, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Love all the decorations. It's a nice, like, aerial bar. Got the fridges in there. Bar section. Really? We have to be under attack right now. They haven't even loaded in yet. Just die. Okay, we good? I think we're good now. Now I can show off my friggin' sky bar area. Got all these tables. It's like a sky bar restaurant type thing almost. I, I still don't really know what I'm doing here. Also, need to work on this door. I need to work on making it like a two-way switch. So that way you can close it when you're behind. So that way you don't have to do this to get in and out of the bathroom. Aggravating. Wait, is that another one of those crummy potted plants? Yes, it is! Ice, ice cooler here. Don't know why there's a Gwyneth Stout bottle in there. Whatever. And then we have a nice porch area. Also, it works if the bouncer needs to... Someone's getting too drunk or something. Just throw them off. They'll, they'll be fine. I'm not gonna fall off because I don't want to take damage right now. Jukebox over here. A couple of trash things. Cigarette thing. And an arcade machine for Pitfall. Pitfall. I don't really like that game personally. Then we have a nice wind gener power generator. I love the look of it. It's just so expensive and like doesn't give you any power. It's like not worth it. And we have a nice little storage warehouse here. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Not, not a whole lot here. Anything else I need to show off? Let me check here. Uh, nothing there. My vault is my main home. <laughs> make a plane, nothing there. Our homestead. Uh, the castle? Yeah, I'll show off the castle a little bit, I guess. Got about five more minutes. Sorry for the loading screen. <laughs> It's faster than actually walking to the castle. Unless I had the horsepower armor, then it would be faster. I should really grab that. I might grab that for next episode. Which I may or may not record right after this. I don't know. Depends on when the thunderstorm gets here. It's supposed to get here around 2. Currently recording this, it's about 10. So it should be okay, but I did hear like some wind. So I just don't want to lose power and lose any progress or anything. That would suck. Hope defend Coastal Cottage? No. Here at the castle, it's like our Minuteman uh, military area. Let's keep that off. Store this. <laughs> um, here we have our um, army this bot 2000. Yeah. Looks great. Understood. Great and ready for all sorts of wars and stuff. This little area, it's nice and lived in for all sorts of crafting. Then you have the Minuteman power armor and some army works. That's from the time I killed the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the Myrler Queen here. And then, uh, all these military bunk beds. Nice and green, it looks great. Uh, what else? We got power generator over here. Mm, nothing up at the top, really. Uh, that vault door, that's new. Ooh, as well. Uh, and, uh, yep, um, here's an entrance way to the armory area. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot what all the stuff I did. Look at this. This is nice. Man. Completely forgot about all the stuff I did. Look at that. That's nice. And we got a missile launcher here. And a minigun. Looks great. Armory. It's great looking. Just some storage and stuff. It's great. I forgot about it. It's great. It's amazing. And down there is the other underground bit. Where you find the Minuteman General stuff. Uh. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Got a little distracted. Here is the, like, uh, bake, um, not bakery, but rest, um, the cooking area. The cooking area here. 
And here's the where you sit down and eat and relax. Don't know what I'm doing here. Need to figure that out. Here's where you get medical supplies and uh, surgery. And here's my minute mana, uh, my general's office. Look at this, look at this, this is beautiful. It took me a while to set this up. Some Something happened, and a lot of the alcohol like glitched through the floor. Oh, I can grab the, I can grab the vodka. And grab it. I can see it. No. Dang it, I can't grab the vodka. Oh well. But yeah, it's nice and decorated in here. It's really nice looking. Minuteman General's office. This is my bed in the general's office. Why why do I have such a crummy bed? Let's get uh Let's, let's do black, yeah. Then we have our person who takes down the notes and stuff for when I'm doing conferences. Nothing here, here, nothing here. Yeah, nothing. Not a whole lot here. But it's a nice little, like, military base that I've got going on here, and I love it. Little farming area, because you have to have food to keep your people happy. Our Minuteman uh, radio guy. Uh, a bar here. I don't know why I have it here. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, wait. Uh, that's right. I got a little uh, dock area for fishing. Uh, what am I doing? Am I crazy? Let's get that there. This here. You know what? Exactly what needs to happen. Here, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb sometimes. I need to freaking fix this. Put that there, but this here. Can't do the middle bit there, unfortunately. Can't walk that up, walk up that. Oh well, what am I gonna do? A little fishing area. It's, it's nice. Lobster, lobster cages. Not lobster traps. Lobster cages. Uh, fish basket. Pretty nice. Not a whole lot here at the castle. I can scrap these trees, but I'm not gonna. It looks nice. And, uh, oh, yeah, these little lights here are in a restricted area. Authorized persons keep out. Yep, there we go. I think that's about it with the castle here. Mm, that's about it for this video as well, I'm afraid. Because if I don't end it soon, it'll just end abruptly. <laughs> yep. But, uh, that's about it at the castle. Oh, my fifth boy Forgot to show that off. Beautiful. Look at this thing. I love it. That silver, that black, that wood. It's just amazing looking. Love it. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, nice little tour of my world, kind of. Or my bases, some of them. Now I have, uh, I'm gonna show off another thing that I've never shown off before. Or, uh, in the next one, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.